Hey guys, Shane Starnes here with DroidForums.net. You know me better as DroidModderX, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get the Ice Cream Sandwich lock screen on any Android device with Widget Locker. Uh, from the market, it's about $4.99, and it's well worth it. Uh, other than just having the Ice Cream Sandwich lock screen, it has so many other features, uh, like adding widgets to the lock screen, uh, adding a clock, customized clock to the lock, lock screen, and there's several different lock screens to choose from. Well worth the money. Guys, let's go ahead and jump into this quick application review. So Widget Locker, you'll just select that. And this is what they call uh, the Lock Tools screen. And you will customize your lock screen here and then go into Settings and enable the lock screen. Uh, so once you have everything here the way that you like it, you can just turn it off and back on and that's what will appear as your lock screen. Um, if you want to customize that, all you have to do is pull up the application. You can customize the actual lock just by holding until the menu comes up and then you just select edit. Um, here you have several different themes. You have the default Android theme, the honeycomb default, Ice cream sandwich default, the iPhone default, MIUI default, Motorola default, Rotary default, Sense and Sense 3. So my two favorite here are the ice cream sandwich and of course the Sense 3. So I'll show you the Sense 3. Uh, it has applications up here that you can actually customize and program. Uh, so all you have to do there is choose that application, drop it, and now you can configure and customize that application. Just go to application it'll bring up all your applications and for that one I'll choose my dialer and go to the next one I can set that one up as my messaging application the next one I'll set that up as my email and the last one I'll set that up as my camera application very customizable uh, some people recommended this and I had to try it out and especially after I realized that they had the ice cream sandwich uh, from this update. So we'll go back and I forgot to save it. So make sure that you save it. That is lesson number one. Make sure that you save your work in the save and exit. So we'll go back there real quick. Uh, let me do this again. Dialer. Messaging, Gmail, we'll do Gmail here, and camera, this time we'll be sure to save and exit. Okay, so save and exit, and there you have it. Now you have your HTC Sense 3 lock screen. You can just pull up to unlock, or you can grab an application to jump straight into the application. So that is really cool, really neat. I can go back to let's see, I can go back to my toolbox here and change that back to ice cream sandwich and save and exit and you'll see that my my adjustments there, they're, see how they're left there from when I just adjusted it on the HTC Sense, which is really cool. I like that a lot. Uh, so you can also remove your widgets here if you don't like them, don't need them. You can change them just by holding. You can uh, remove that, and now I can add a different widget if I like the different clock, like my analog clock. There it is. Uh, I can remove that and put my ice cream sandwich clock there so there's my ice cream sandwich clock if I wanted to put like a music widget here I could do that from and there's my music list so now whenever I turn it back on now all my custom settings are there so there's even more features uh, in this and there's so many different things that you can do. You can actually resize that widget. If you have enough room, you can do that. 
and several different things that you can do here. Uh, guys, this is very highly customizable, uh, fun to play around here. There's so many different things that you can do with your lock screen uh, to beautify it, customize it, make it different and unique. And I especially like this new ice cream sandwich lock screen feature. Guys, check out Widget Locker uh, on the market. Check out the link in the description. I'll have a link there uh, to where you can get this application. Uh, be sure to check out droidforums.net for all the latest in droid news. You can follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx with an e not a